Hey, what's up everybody, AWOL here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to capture any content on your computer and share it with people on the internet. Presentations, tutorials, what have you. It's very simple in OBS and we're gonna get you started right now. Using three different methods of capturing visual content, display capture, window capture, or browser source, you'll be able to get that content at OBS, I promise, while using one of these methods. I'll also teach you how to add your mic and how to make it sound better. And I'll teach you how to add your webcam. If you want to be seen during the recording, all of this stuff in this tutorial, step by step, let's go. So step number one, let's just go ahead and pull in some visual content here to show the audience. Click the plus button down here under sources. It'll pull up this menu. Our first method will be called display capture. This will capture all content on one of your displays of your choosing. Hit OK. It'll pull up this menu and you pick which display you want to show all the content from. If you don't have a second display or third display, I very highly recommend buying one. Link in the description below if you want to buy a very cost effective one that I use in my studio. I'm going to choose display number three. You can choose whether to have your capture or your cursor be seen. While you're presenting, I like people to see my cursor. It's up to you. You can check this and turn it off if you want, turn it back on. Great. And there's the content on the screen. It's capturing everything I have over here, any tabs I'm looking at on the internet. So if I wanted to show a presentation, here's a presentation. If I wanted to show a website, here's my website. Display capture is very simple and very easy to use. If yours did not automatically go full screen, let's say it looked like that, right click on it or Apple command click on it, Go to transform and go down to fit to screen. It'll pull it up full screen for you. Cool. Here is the next capture method. We're going to turn that one off so we can pull up the next one. If that didn't work or you didn't like it, you can click the plus button down here again and go to window capture. This is yet another way to pull up content in OBS to present. Hit OK. Now you're going to have a drop down menu, not of monitors, but of basically tabs or different windows that are open on your computer. We're gonna to go to Chrome, Google Chrome, my browser. We're gonna pick that as our option, and boom, here it is. It's gonna pull that window up manually in OBS. Hit OK. Same way as before, if it wasn't full screen or you wanna make it fit your screen, right click it, command click it, transform, fit to screen, and it'll pull it up full screen for you. That was method number two. As you can see, you can interact with that per normal, just any browser window on your computer. You can even pull up any program you have open on your computer too. It doesn't just have to be internet browsers. Anything that makes a window within Windows, you can pull it up using window capture. Let's go ahead and mute that one. And I'll show you the third method, which is cool. It's your backup method. If nothing else worked, browser source. So you can click the plus button, go up here to browser source. I have to use this sometimes. Folks that have one monitor, this is gonna be one of your best options, if not your best option. You're gonna copy the website you wanna show within OBS. You're gonna paste it here under URL. You're gonna manually input whatever your resolution is for your project, mine's 1920 by 1080, and you're going to hit OK. And it's gonna pull open that website through a browser within OBS, okay? So now, you can interact with this website in OBS. This is a backup method. One monitor people, this is going to be for you. Right click it or Apple command click it and click interact. And you can interact with that website while you're doing the presentation using this window. Okay, so it's pulling open a web browser within OBS and you can use this method. You can go through your presentation, you can look at your website, you can do whatever you want. You can go click around websites as you can see and it'll pull it open as a manual browser within OBS. Those are all three methods, okay? So we're gonna go back to our display capture, and then let's go ahead and add our microphone. Hit the plus button down here under sources, and go to audio input capture. Call it whatever you wanna call it. I'm just gonna do the default name, and select your microphone. Mine is called this, yours is gonna be called whatever yours is called. Hit okay. It should pop up here in the audio mixer down here at the bottom. You should see levels right here. Almost every microphone will benefit from these settings that I'm going to tell you right now. Click the gear, click the cog right here, and go to filters. Under filters, there's going to be a plus button here. We're going to add two filters that generally make every mic sound better in OBS. Noise suppression, 
will help eliminate background noise and just make your audio sound cleaner. Add that first and then hit the plus button again and go to compressor. Compressor will make your audio sound cleaner, tighter, flatter, and it'll eliminate any peaks in your audio that make the audience sound uncomfortable. Hit close. Now your audio is going to be nice and tight. Okay, here's the last thing. Now you can be heard. Now all of your content can be seen. Let me just go into present mode. There we go. You can be heard. Now your content can be seen. Let's see if you want to be seen, how you can add a webcam. Hit the plus button again down here and go up to video capture device. Click that. I'm just going to call it the default name. You call it whatever yours is called. Now, using this menu, select your webcam or your DSLR or whatever it is you have on your computer. Select that camera. I'm going to use my CamLink 4K. That's the one I'm using. Try using the default settings if it looks decent. If it does not look decent, manually go to Custom and select Higher Resolution Settings. Okay? It should give you some options down here of the different resolutions your device can offer you. Mine is 4K, right? Mine's a super high end. Select a higher resolution. Under FPS, select whatever your FPS is on your project, or just let it sit on auto select, and then hit OK. Now, as you can see, my camera's all jacked, and yours might be jacked too. Your positioning might not be what you want. Right click or Apple Command click on the camera, go to transform, and do fit to screen. There you go. Now you're full screen. If you want to just be in the corner during your presentation, grab the corner down here, grab the corner or the corner up here or the corner wherever you want, click it and drag to resize your webcam. Put yourself in the corner so you can be seen, but you don't cover up the content of your presentation. So boom, like I'm going through my presentation and now I can be seen, now I can be heard, the whole nine. And if you want to start recording your presentation or live stream it, just click that stream button Click that start recording button or click both and share your content with the internet. It's that simple, everybody. Let me know if you have any con questions in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and good luck presenting and getting, getting your message out there on the internet. Adios.